Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, we're going to be channeling out all that we can from spirit when it comes to your current situation for Scorpio and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, we've got a new promise. We got a beginning of a new cycle. We have the new moon. Maybe some of you Scorpios are working with moon energy. Okay. Maybe if you're not, you know, dive into it, see what it opens you up to. We have a promise here. So I am seeing that this is a time where you might be coming together with someone that is promising, especially for those seeking love. Now, not all of you Scorpios are looking for love. I know that, but you might be looking for some type of, you know, connection, uh, union, um, you know, something that agrees with you, right? And a lot of you, it's another person here. So there's something about you looking onto the horizon here, uh, looking at um, a time of, you know, fresh beginnings. And I'm seeing you having a time where you are enjoying maybe, uh, you know, getting to watch the sun set and sun rise. Okay. And you're not doing it alone. Might be even like a honeymoon, honeymoon period here too. So, you know, whether it's a honeymoon period, you know, traditionally like a marriage or whatnot, uh, I'm talking more about, you know, coming into, you know, romance, romance with life. Okay. Ro be being romantic with yourself, uh, feeling a different sense of energy, right? So that we are really being in a flow of give and take. Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation for Scorpio. Oh, okay. Why is this one coming out a little funny? Grounding. Oh my goodness. Okay. Some of you, I am getting a message. Take this if it resonates. Either maybe someone you've met recently or someone new, you know, you need to ground yourself because I feel a lot of you, you know, you might feel like it could get, you know, take you away here. And uh, I think it's important, you know, to allow yourself to open yourself up to love and compassion, but also be deeply rooted um, in knowing who and what you are. Um, but yeah, a lot of you, there's some type of love connection or some type of connection that is important for you, Scorpio, on your path. So this is a time where you do want to give into love. I feel that, you know, whatever is happening, this is, th there, there's some type of strong sense of security and loyalty. And, you know, there's this word promise here, Scorpio. So promise is a very strong word here. And so there's something very strong and stable. All right. I feel that whatever and whoever is coming into alignment with you, this is going to be something that you want to, you know, give into sustain here because I'm seeing it bearing fruit. A lot of you could also be bearing fruit. And so you might be possibly in the seven, seven of pentacles, um, energy, which is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it's a time period where you've invested. Uh, there's no need to worry. Okay. You are bearing fruit and, uh, maybe for some you've already, you know, harvested what, what you wanted out of a situation or maybe even monetarily here, and you're ready to invest in something else. Okay. So don't be afraid. Uh, these two hands are coming together. So let's continue and see. I'm also getting water sign coming through cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? I'm also seeing something about these clouds, watching the clouds. Clouds are shape-shifting as you are shape-shifting. This is a time to put your wishes out there. Things are coming true for you. So we do have the wishing well. I feel this is like water sign. I want to get more too with the wishing well for Scorpio. Also, you may need to be careful what you wish for. Seriously. Because <laughs> uh, it's coming true. So this might be a time where, you know, speaking of the, the energy that I was picking up, seven of pentacles, that's a... That's a card of like gardening or a gardener, you know, tending to your garden here. So, you know, make sure you are tending to the right wishes and dreams. Okay. Cause remember what I just said, maybe you need to be careful what you wish for. Uh, but let's see a little bit more with this, what spirit will give, uh, with this wishing well for you, Scorpio. 
know, we got um, an emotionally great s a situation that's brewing. If it's not, you know, here yet, look at this. We got trustworthy friends. I really sense like two of cups, three of cups, even six of cups, you know, something about synergy, uh, connections that work. Okay. They're harmonious. Uh, it gives life to both or whoever is all involved. It just works well. And it's like your kind, you know, in a sense here, we do have something about a partnership. So put your wishes out there and also trust that your wishes have been granted when it comes to, you know, connections that are worthy of you, right? Trustworthy. What else for Scorpio? You are, you, okay. I really get a sense of possible, like justice too. some type of contract energetically or for real. Okay. We got a commitment on the horizon. I feel that this is the commitment that's going to make you feel good. Okay. So some of you, you need to, again, maybe sharpen your wishes, nurture the, the dreams and the wishes you do have. I feel a lot of you are going to come into some type of commitment here with someone and it's in it's for the long term <laughs> okay what else for scorpio there's a lot of love with this stillness wow i feel that scorpio there you're going to be drawing in i feel they would have they would ha definitely have water and you know yeah water and earth sign is like coming through so I mean, they could be any sign, but I'm getting this like King of Cups type of energy. So uh, it's safe for you to trust and love. Um, this might be a time if you are feeling challenged to do things that make you feel uh, grounded so that you aren't getting or maybe, you know, not that you are, but I feel that you are sensitive, but it's a good thing that you're sensitive. You know, it's a gift, not a curse. So you do have to take extra care of your energy and, you know, ground yourself here. Uh, and remain, you know, tolerant of a situation. Maybe some of you are like biding your time for better results. So continue to do that. Uh, remain, you know, as far, you know, as balanced as you can here. Okay. And maybe you want to put yourself in sceneries that are of, you know, solitude, uh, quietness, stillness. Things are arising here. What else? completion. Yeah, you, you're, you're ready. Look, look, new moon and the full moon. Oh my goodness. You guys are ready for what's next here, Scorpio. So I, you know, whether you guys want a new person in your life or a commitment, it's, it's coming your way. I feel that you guys have already been putting this wish out. So it only makes sense that you're, 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 you're ready for the new, you're ready for a new promise. What else? vulnerability. I feel that some of you might have a little bit of a challenge with that. Not all of you, you know, um, and also remember this thing about grounding yourself, right? Uh, so that we're not getting discouraged or confused in a situation because, you know, God, angel, Jesus, the universe is bringing you a situation with someone that you can feel safe to love, to be open up to, and yes, be vulnerable. Okay. When you're in this state, I feel like you're more in the flow of receiving the goodness that you desire. What else? Oh, we got generations and ancestors. So your ancestors are guiding you towards some type of situation that you've been asking. See, I, I could tell that your, your prayers and your wishes have been heard. So you've got ancestors from the heavens above and the ones that have left behind on this earth plane that are helping and guiding you. Your connection is so strong here. So a lot of you, you're tuning into your instincts. You might be more in your, you know, high priestess energy. Uh, quite possibly where you're tapping in or, you know, being guided to tap into, you know, uh, the other dimensions here and maybe just keeping those things to yourself because I feel that whatever is coming to you is really just meant for you anyways. You might be finding out how you guys are powerful healers, guides, um, something that's wise about you, you could be tapping into. So your ancestors have left you you know, markings for you to not feel lost in life with. OK, 
okay? And also, I can't help but see something. I was talking about justice card, which is like karma here. So I feel a lot of you, you are, you've really completed some type of maybe, you know, major karmic cycle within uh, the generations, you know, in your human life here. Um, but don't ever forget that, you know, you've got a cosmic uh, DNA that you're connected to. There's a cosmic family that you're connected to. So um, you're always connected to the heavens above and, you know, the angels here on earth, your ancestors. So trust that you are tapping into hearing and being guided. Okay, you do hear the ancient ones. So I feel, again, it's important to get out there do things that help ground you and put you also, you need to be in a space where you can allow, you know, that internal, um, whisper and messages to come to you. Cause if we're in too much of a distraction or noisy environment, we're getting distracted. It's hard to, to hear you've healed something major though, Scorpio. And yeah, your ancestors are really proud of you. Because not only you're changing something up for yourself, you're making their wishes come true as well. What else? Spirit of play, see? You're, you, you're grounding yourself. Some of you, you do need to really carve out time, especially if you are a busy person. You really are going to have to carve out time to make sure you have that place to spend with spirit, okay? I'm not kidding you, you guys. You can hear the ancient ones, okay? And you need to uh, honor that. That's a gift, okay? It may not always be comfortable at times, but it is a gift and they are communicating to you because they want to let you know that if you're stressed or worried about anything or challenge um, to let it go, something is going to become very effortless if it's not, okay? If you just remain still and don't get uh, maybe overly charged with things, you're going to find some, you're going to find like your, you're going to find your, your balance with all things, especially when we're talking about connecting with others. Um, you know, cause sometimes we can get a little lost <laughs> and you know, and that could get a little, uh, not scary, but that just, you know, makes one feel a little bit, you know, like they're losing a sense of, stability within their own self and that's not what we want to do we want to be strong here um so yeah you you are very very much grounded and rooted and you know i feel a lot of you scorpios would resonate as maybe an old soul here so this is your lifetime in this lifetime to really enjoy some type of new promise new cycle new way of life what else for Scorpio? Look at this. There is something really beautiful unfolding for you. Spiritual unfoldment, love. Okay, you've been in the depths of the water here and you're rising up and unfolding like this beautiful lotus flower here. So, you know, utilize compassion and love right now. You're opening up to something really, um, I feel gentle and innocent. Let's get more about this too for Scorpio. Yeah, it's unfolding as it should here. Give us more with this lotus flower. Some of you might be guided to do some ancient things like yoga. Maybe there is something with moving your body, physical fitness. Maybe you're already doing that. C continue. You know, that's going to help uh, make you feel more rooted, strong, and grounded as well. Yeah, you guys are having a major like spiritual unfoldment, whether you realize it or not. Some of you, you do realize this, okay? Your abilities are becoming really strong. You do need to trust yourself over others right now, especially with this moonlight, okay? Time is going to tell you everything that you need to know. But there is something about your abilities and what's happening to you uh, that is a beautiful unfoldment. So... You know, if you're not being revealed uh, visions and gifts and things that are meant for you, give yourself some time. Uh, what else? 
And if you've been feeling lost, you know, like that moonlight is going to illuminate your path. Yeah, you you guys have this ability. Okay, more about how strong your abilities are. And that, yes, a lot of you, your ancestors have passed down these gifts to you on purpose, okay? And you're utilizing in the best way. So right now, I feel a lot of you just, you need to be in this position where you're being aware, okay? You're, you know, not doing anything quickly, you know, it's like patience and silence is your ally at this time. Okay. Remember patience and silence is your ally at this time. Because when you're patient and silent, your internal world embodies this stillness. Okay. Which helps things to emerge, help things to flow. So spirit is gifting you something to just kind of, you know, watch, be aware because the moment will be there for you to take action, to do something. What else? Yeah, you're gonna, you're being available for anything. Being available uh, for this wide open situation. Okay, yeah, so you guys, I feel you guys have hit rock bottom. And now things are turning around for you, Scorpio. So really, where do you have to go? I mean, you just got to go up from here. So Spirit is saying for a lot of you Scorpios, you know, notice this vulnerability in this person who's like wide open, right? We don't know what's going to come at us, but you might as well just be in this position and trust. And trust that you can fly. Some type of opportunity is on its way. This is why Spirit is saying watch and wait. Okay. Remain silent. What did I say? What did I say? I don't know. Patience and silence is your ally at this time. Okay. Uh, what else for Scorpio? The fog, the veil is clearing up and you can breathe. Look, there's going to be some, something is going to... Now, some of you, you might already be in this place where things may have been removed in your life, uh, only to put you in a position to receive all the goodness and blessings you want because maybe this wishing well is your sense of your own well being completely depleted only to get filled up again and let's fill it up with some good stuff right something promising so take your time with things you know there's no need to rush into anything you know i was talking about that moonlight where things are being illuminated so this is exactly what's happening is the fog is clearing up Okay, the, the sun is burning the fog, whether that's confusion, impatience, whatever that fog is filled with. <laughs> and we get into seeing the damn trees again. I mean, because look, all the clouds been, you know, covering those trees. But now we have a reveal and we can breathe. Okay, so there's a real sense of expansiveness. And I feel that there was a sense of you hitting rock bottom because whatever maybe... Yeah, that was surrounding you or whatever was going on would have only kept you in a small box and you're not meant to be kept in a small box. Okay. What else? Oh, you're going to be receiving your rainbow blessings and it landed on that trustworthy friends and that wishing well. And remember I was saying, it's like, you may have been feeling, you may have got depleted and emptied here, but trust that you're receiving many blessings. Let's get more too about the uh, rainbow blessings. Okay. Release. Nice. Release. Continue to keep releasing to receive your rainbow blessings because it's, it's a multitude with the rainbow. You're going to have passion and purification. Look at that. Look at this. Release passion purification. Wow. And somebody's like dancing and moving here, doing a ceremony, right? A sacred, maybe there's a sacred release here that you might be doing or want to do. You've got this ability and power to really purify a, situ a situation too, okay? And maybe I'm kind of seeing like this fire that's, you know, maybe came in you know, started a forest fire in your world here, right? And then here comes the rescue. Here comes the rain. Woo! 
Ooh, finally. And the, you know, the rainbow. So your treasure and your blessings are coming to fruition, especially health and healing for a lot of you. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, there's that justice. Look, balance. <laughs> I get Libra coming through with this justice card. Yeah, thank you, angels, for bringing me my life into balance. That's exactly what's happening here. You know, leaving a time period where, yeah, we've had to, you know, hit rock bottom here just to show us where maybe we've lost our balance. So you're walking through some new doors, Scorpio. You need to be proud of yourself. Uh, you need to know that there's, you know, a whole new agreement coming into your life, okay, that's agreeing with you. And a lot of you, you've got something strong about partnership, possibly marriage. I know for some, not all of you, there could be, you know, the sense of divorce, though, too, because we have like a sense of justice here and we are exiting a situation and entering a new promising one. What else for Scorpio? Yeah, you guys are ready to move on here. Even if you wanted to stay, and I'm not saying that you do, even if you wanted to stay, it would just seem so unfamiliar because you really have outgrown it. You know, it's a, a gone memory here, you know. Maybe this is like a six of cups kind of thing here too where even the memories might even become, um, you know, faded with time here. Yeah, this is time to, you're giving life to a whole new situation. I really see a sense of like judgment in the old, in the judgment card of like resurrection because of that fire. We have that like that release here and it's like breathing new life into something now. That's exactly what's happening here. What else? Because I feel a lot of you done a really good job of releasing the things that you need to here. So stay focused. Intention is important, especially when it comes to, you know, creating something new, uh, directing the nature of forces to help you and the spiritual forces to help you. Also, just by, you know, choosing things that bring your life into balance helps you focus with your intention and achieve goals as well. So why do you want Scorpio to know about this? Or what do you want Scorpio to know about intention? See this, the, I just noticed the owl has a dandelion and there's all these seeds that are gonna be going out. You know, your, you know, your future seeds. Pay attention to your future seeds. It's, oh yeah, pay attention to your future seeds. You know, um, this thing about this dry desert. That's exactly where we need to be at times so that we can utilize great focus and intention and allow things to uh, show up, to appear here. But you got everything that you need, just like those cactus back there. They got what they need to stay resilient and to, and to survive. Maybe I'm getting something too. Some of you guys, if you've been feeling like you've been on survival mode, um, that's something that's being released and you need to continue letting go of those kind of thoughts that maybe even hold you in a place of, um, you know, feeling the lack of here. Yep. You guys are, you know, just like this dry desert, you know, you got a whole clean slate. This is a time because you've got that wishing well. So it's like magician energy here. So there's a lot of forces at play to guide you. I mean, you got your ancient ancestors, that's guiding you even when you don't know where you're going or feel lost. What else? Reflection. Uh, this is really connected to ancestors in the moonlight. You're, you're receiving some profound visions, messages, you know, uh, listening to your instincts, your intuition. Take time to honor your gifts. Take time to also honor your beauty because I feel maybe some of you, I'm just hearing, some of you Scorpios are too critical of yourself. You're hard on yourself. So this is a time where wizard of awareness, 
okay because we're forming something we're incubating something and we're going to allow it to hatch remember you're not having to go force anything either because you're at this spirit of place patience and silence is your ally at this time what else some of you might be um, also gifted in writing as well, or you maybe maybe you receive messages while you're writing. You've got a, a very magical shape shifting thing. That's how we'll get this card just fell over. Live your joy. Just live your joy and trust. There's magic that's surrounding you that is mysterious and something that you're just going to have to trust right now things are shifting and changing in a very magical way you got to notice it just do things that make you feel joyful don't give into situations that make you feel you know less than or uh, constricted in some way because for some reason i do see this as rock bottom but i'm seeing like a box as well too so you're not meant to be in a little small box. You're meant to live this joyful situation here. Something, uh, there's something about, you know, getting ready to uh, leap on an opportunity because some type of magical map shifter is at play here. This is like the uh, wheel of destiny here. Okay. So things are changing big time. What else? Something or someone's going to change things for you. Honor your feelings. Yeah, you, you take time, you know, that, that thing with the spirit of the place, honoring all of your emotions as sacred, uh, being able to feel what you want to feel and how you want to feel. Look at the Lotus too. Okay. So there's something strong about your heart too. I feel your heart is really... Uh, opening up to a whole new reality, a, a new sense of fulfillment and love. So continue to keep releasing those things that you're intuitively picking up because as you're releasing this, it's helping you guys um, illuminate, unfold, and attract the right things to you that keeps you more in aligned and balanced and in tuned for your highest good. What else? Oh, that's it for those. Okay, so Scorpio, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Hey, hold on. Nope, hold on. Hold on. There's something that wants to come out. Okay, there's something that wants... Hold on. There's something that wants to come out with this moonlight first. And then I need to check if we're ending this or continuing this. All right, let's see. What wants to come out with this moonlight... Yeah, you guys are nurturing your gifts and you're being guided to nurture your gifts. Also, uh, again, a situation is being illuminated for you where you are going to be nurtured because you are a sacred being. Scorpio, I don't care if you don't feel like a sacred being for some of you. You're being, uh, you're being, uh, some of you might even be uncomfortably forced to really love and honor yourself, even the things that maybe you don't really like. Uh, you know, it is only appearing because there is something about it that is a blessing <laughs> and sacred and beautiful. So you need to nurture it. Nurture your gifts and your abilities at this time. Nurture your visions. Nurture your soul and your spirit. It's going to be paying off here. And we have this Gaia energy. We I got this thing about unconditional love. Okay. So I even see this as like um, some winds blowing here, right? Something is really being purified in your situation so that you are feeling more comfortable and nurtured in life as you should, because this is your birthright. Okay, let's see. What else for Scorpio? Okay, there is going to be more. And a lot of you, you do tune into Gaia. You do tune into Mother Earth and pick up a lot of energies here, okay? So there may even, may even be some sadness wrapped around that. And see, this is the thing. Mother Earth knows. She knows how to take care of things. She'll, she'll purify things when she needs to. But she wants to take care of you. There's a very divine. And look at this. Yes, Gaia and like spirit animal. I mean, you know, that's, that's a Gaia. 
thank you animal kingdom for blessing my path with love and we even have this whole thing about love you're in this whole new moon cycle promise of love so be aware I told you there's like you know this wizard of awareness you got this owl over here notice these uh, animals, spirit animals, maybe dreams or visions that come to you through meditation, sleep, or just, you know, pop up. However they do, if it speaks to you, then it's meant for you. Your path is meant to be blessed with love, Scorpio. Okay, what else? Yeah, you're being encouraged to keep moving forward. And also, you're going to get, if you don't have this... You're going to have someone that's going to encourage you to stay strong, uh, to, you know, believe in your uh, future visions and goals and dreams. And yes, to enjoy things. You also need, some of you just need to enjoy the earthly things too, okay? Because <laughs> I feel some of you have been diving deep spiritually here. So yeah, there may have been, you know, a sense of detoxing things out of one's life. But you are being enc encouraged to continue Okay, there's a lot of love and compassion and a warm embrace in the future here. Uh, what else? Yeah, you're going into the unknown. Look at that magical map shifter here. Shifting and changing. So here you are utilizing your other senses to navigate yourself uh, because you're gifted, okay, and your ancient ancestors that have been following you, leading you, and guiding you is not going to allow you to feel lost because you've got these abilities and you got to trust them, okay? Now it's like whatever has gone on in the past years was a setup for you to really utilize your special gifts and abilities because you're going to see something <laughs> here. What else? And just remain peaceful, even though some of you, I do feel that you have to make a stand here. There may be things that you don't like or maybe people that try to discourage you or situations. Just remain strong. I mean, this is you standing in a place of, you know, understanding your boundaries, right, and others. Uh, but also making a stance in a very peaceful, respectful manner, especially if we've been challenged here or losing our patience with others. <laughs> I get in like nine of wands here with this peaceful warrior. Let's get more with this peaceful warrior. Thank you, uh, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Yeah, because a lot of you, you do feel this whole situation coming to an end or completing. Let's get more about this with this peaceful warrior. Because I feel that you guys have built up to something here and just, you know, it's it's good for you to protect it. Wow, I was just talking about the nine of wands, which is like the wounded warrior here. So, yeah, I feel a lot of you, there's this th a sense of sad embrace here. You know, you've been hurt, spirit knows, but you are being comforted by at this time. Uh, some type of, you know, situation will be handled in a fair and just manner, Scorpio. So just keep standing your ground with peace, right? Um, also, some of you just pay attention because I know we got this thing about honor your feelings, right? We may need, we may uh, react in a way that we may regret here if we don't, you know, uh, tend to our inner garden here. But the other thing that I see for a lot of you too is coming out of the sad embrace and really taking the stand here because we realize how strong we are because we have overcome something. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Scorpio, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Scorpio have to look forward to? in the near future. Shape-shifting. I was picking up something about clouds. Shape-shifting here. Scorpio, what you have to look forward to is trying on different things, doing something different, um, being in tuned also with, you know, things that are shape-shifting in your life, things that you're noticing here to help you navigate yourself, okay? But I also feel that your life is shape-shifting. 
And yes, maybe some of you, it's like, you know, lie back, rest and relax, but that's because you're utilizing that wizard of awareness that resides in you, right? Coming to that place, spirit of place and allowing something to reveal itself to you. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's find out also uh, how spirit is currently helping you. Hmm. Synergy, giving you things and connections that just work well. It all works well, not feeling alone or lost. So I get six of cups with this. Spirit's helping you guys with energy, synergy, things that, again, just work well with you that are aligned with balance here. And also helping you guys invoke something. There could be this activation, a clearing of or a celebration, doing something to invite synergy in. So be open to the things that are coming to you because you are very gifted. I mean, look at all that light around your sacral chakra. So, you know, the, the, the veil is very thin between you and the spiritual realm here. So you might as well use it. You know, if you're in a situation where you find more time by yourself, where there's a reason, because you've got a lot of power to invoke you know, situations into your life. So spirit's helping you guys utilize your energy and direct it in the right place. I thought I saw a skull there for a second. Anyhow, I do see the snake here. Okay. And you're releasing an old uh, skin and putting on a new skin. So, you know, don't be afraid to maybe try on new things too. Okay. Anyhow, I hope that was helpful. Love and light.